Judo That's the punch that got the crowd excited. Yeah, go, Larry. Yeah, these are not hurting punches, but they are definitely big scoring punches. In the lower left of your screen, you saw the huge Rhythm and Blues star Usher getting excited about all that. Steve Wynn was sitting right in front of him, incidentally. A lot of famous faces in the crowd here. Round five begins, and in the CompuBox numbers that you saw between rounds, there was one astonishing stat. Zab Judah has landed 57% of his power punches so far. Now, what's misleading about that is that he's only thrown 44. Mayweather has thrown, by CompuBox count, almost twice as many power punches. As the fight goes on, that may make a difference. You heard Joel, Joel Judah, Zab's father, asking him to let his hands go and saying when you do it and throw those power punches he's going to back away funny enough that's exactly the same thing roger mayweather across the ring has been saying to his nephew when you unleash your power punches he's going to back away right hand over the top by mayweather he sneaks in a little left hook right increasingly mayweather is the aggressor in the fight It's always hard to box a southpaw. I've never boxed one, but I know I've sparred with a couple. No, Michael Moore didn't quite make it as far as that fight with you that uh, some expected when he uh, won the heavyweight championship. Because, of course, he ran into a little bump in the road called George Foreman. There's a straight right hand, flush for Floyd Mayweather. He is starting to get his offensive game together. That's one of the few times, maybe the first time, that he's really hit Judas squarely. Caught him with a flush right hand and sneaked in another left hook there. Judah misses over the top. Mayweather's accuracy is beginning to come to the fore. Another right hand lands for Mayweather. Zab should definitely keep his hands a bit higher because when you've got a quick guy in there, you don't want to really give him any too much chances. Mayweather is beginning to hammer Judah with body shots. A left and a right along the ropes there. Judah is fighting less, and as a result, taking more leather. Floyd's definitely mixing up his attack now. He's throwing to the body, and like I said, that right hand is going to be throwing it all night. He's very effective with it. And you're absolutely right. You saw Judah trying the left uppercut after one of the right hands. There's no question that the strategy to try to stop Floyd's right hand is to burn him with uppercuts. Now you tell me what he's doing What's now. What's that? This is just a different style. He's saying, well, like some that, punches. No, what that is, is he's, he's hurt, he's been hit, he's been tagged, and he's trying to give a new look, and it, it doesn't mean a thing. Judah seems almost to be trying to talk Mayweather, and he lands a left hand, and now he's talking to Floyd. And he catches him with a little right hook. Big left hand for Judah, his best punch of the round and he taunts Mayweather one more time before leaving the corner. Now that round was all Mayweather until the last 20 seconds. You're doing good, but you gotta do that what you do just now. He's nothing, Zab, he's not, no. Zab, he's nothing, but you can't let him dominate you. He gonna pass shoot you all night. You let him get off fight. When he let go, do come back, just do jab. Come back with something. Don't let him hit you and get away. You got to keep it, that's what I say. Hands right here. He's my brother, I told you. Don't stop walking. If you had his ass then, don't let the bitch get go confident. Just cough it up, just take your time. Well, you go, give it up there. Everybody talk. Here's Mayweather having his best round, landing flush on Judah. Judah looked worried about the punches, but took them. Hey! There's my new best friend. I met Jay-Z last night. I was hanging with the man. All right. I am hip. Jay-Z was very cool. A nice man and uh, one of the many huge stars from the rap and hip-hop worlds who are here on the scene tonight. Hour and five. Mayweather 18 out of 30 by CompuBox count. Judah three of 16. But the three were all in the last 20 seconds. hammering to the body. Earlier in the fight, 
Mayweather wasn't bothering to lift his left shoulder in defense of his chin as he's done so often in the past. In the last couple of rounds, he's gone back to that discipline, and that has slowed Judah down just a little bit. Good left hook to the body by Mayweather. Judah tries to retaliate immediately with a right hook to the body. Floyd's measuring now, he's trying some good straight punches. He's measuring, he just wants to get the, that punch in there accurately. Still relying on that straight right. And Judah is, seems more determined to defend himself than to punch at this time. Keeps throwing the jab out there, keeps getting it caught by Floyd Mayweather's white gloves. Judah trying to reach for something upstairs. Mayweather steps in with a right. Body, body, body. Left hand over the top by Judah. Didn't land. Good defense by Mayweather. He's terrific. He's just too quick. Hard to catch him with a clean punch. Left hook landed solidly for Mayweather. Just scoring. Just putting leather on him. Mayweather definitely wants to stay close to Jab for some reason. He just wants to stay real close to him and give him that kind of pressure. Well, I think deep in his heart, Floyd Mayweather believes that Zab Judah can't handle pressure. And one reason he believes that is because Judah shrunk from the media process preceding the fight. Mayweather was relaxed and comfortable enough to spend all the time with the reporters that they wanted and he said repeatedly, what the heck is wrong with Zab? Judah took a real good left hook at the end of that round. First, don't be second, be first. Keep walking. Keep walking. All you gotta do is keep walking. And stay a little bit outside of the street, but get close to him. Okay? Keep walking. That's what I'm saying. I'm trying to do that. Don't, don't no, worry. Just keep your right hand up. When you go in, keep your right keep hand up. Keep your right hand up, Zach. You're working good. You're stealing shots. Hook shots. All right. Oh, that. Oh, oh, you're trying to walk with Zach. Then you're trying to go into the body. He's trying to break your body up. Okay. Listen. Can you guys come in? Take your time. Come in. Come in. Okay. You got me? Three, four. Three, four. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's go. Keep your right hand up. You know, Mayweather has called Judah a hothead in the sense that he, he lacks discipline and goes a little crazy and away from whatever he's trying to do in the ring. But Judah has kept very focused in this ramp, in this fight, and that's why he's staying in it. You know, funny that you said it, Lennox. The combination that seems really to be working for Mayweather now more and more as the fight goes on is straight right hand followed by the left hook. As you said, both punches can work. Harold Letterman, how do you have it through six? I'll get you 57, 57, three rounds apiece. I got it all even. Jim, I got to tell you something. The guy that gets off first is always landing a better punch. I don't know why, but if you watch this real close like I am, right. the so guy that throws that first punch seems to get in a better shot. Floyd Mayweather's won the last two rounds by winning the first two minutes of the last, of the last two rounds. Zams come on strong in the final minute. Anyway, 57, 57, all even. I have it 3, 2, and 1 for Mayweather. I think Zab should definitely get off the ropes at this point. You don't really want to make uh, Floyd Mayweather just pick you apart because that's what he's doing. He's just picking his, his spots and taking advantage of him. Definitely There's get blood off the in Zab Judah's mouth and blood coming from Judah's nose now. I wonder, and that's the product of the accurate punching by Floyd Mayweather. Uh, and you, you have to wonder whether the body punches 
are slowing him down a little bit. Otherwise, why would he do that? Why would he go in the corner that way? I spoke to perennial contender Demarcus Corley before the fight. He has fought both men in the ring and lost to both. Corley spent the last several weeks as a sparring partner for Floyd Mayweather in Mayweather's camp. He said the focus in training every day was body, body, body. Corley said to me, he said, after what I've learned from Floyd in this camp, I have a new regimen. I'm doing 500 sit-ups a day. Well, there is blood coming out of the nose and mouth of Judah now. And there'll be more of it after that big right hand, the most solid power punch of the fight so far for Floyd Mayweather. And you said it right, Lennox, last round. Floyd is measuring him and finding his spots. Judah got off the ropes. That was good, Lennox. Should he be throwing more punches? Too? He should be definitely throwing more punches. Right now, he's, he's trying to he's trying to wait. I think he's waiting a bit too much. Is it?